close that start streaming okay view watch page this way when I start running my mouth um, boom there we go all right so we're live right now I believe so what are we painting today that's what you ask well oh did, did we slip off hold on here hold on here uh, let me just make sure that we're live and yes we are because I'm talking so anyways uh, for those of you that are part of our discord you do not have to be a patron you can be just somebody that is watching us for the first time and guess what you can join us by asking any question that you want in the lounge the girls are going to moderate it they are going to read off your questions that you have that you may type hopefully you can hear us and see us which would be very cool and we jimmy how are you by the way and the girls are going to say some big everybody. bangs and good morning greg no oh, it's the morning all right so let's get right to you it. woke up in time for the live stream there's a couple of things that we're going to be covering today. Um, most of all, oh wait, what, 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 what? Oh, okay. Sorry, I was checking something out, guys. I was getting a notification that somebody was shipping something to me. So, anyways, here are the night gaunts, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting the whole series. So we're going to start with these guys first, and I'm going to try to keep this as uh, quick and easy as possible. The girls are going to read the comments. You guys can ask questions and stuff like that if you have Discord and part of our Discord channel. And Welcome Nathaniel to chat. Looks like he's muted at the moment, but he's okay. hanging out with us. That's okay, because I'm doing my rant. Um, where I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you how to paint these spots, but I'm going to show you where you can use some of these technical paints in other games and we will be covering that very shortly as well um, so I'm going to show you the very first step I'm going to show you easy way to do this anybody can do this any of you can just pick up and just and, and, and just paint and it's all about just picking up a brush and spreading some paint and really coloring your world and that's the thing that we always preach here is don't be afraid to paint because it's a lot of fun. And maybe it's not for you, but half the times people find out that it is for them. It really is. Now I'm going to take some of this uh, uh, Hex Wrath Flame. Now I bought this. It's a little pricey. Yes, yes, yes. But you can use it in so many different ways. Now what we're going to do is we are going to cover this entire model with this paint. Now I primed these guys white. And the reason is, is that when you put this, this paint on here, it's kind of translucent or, uh, yeah, translucent. And you're going to see the white through there. That's exactly what I want. That is what I'm going for. And all I'm going to do, and we're going to be painting a batch of these guys, but we're going to learn a few things on our way too about how to use some of these paints. And you can see this really goes on very it, it, it goes on very well and you can see where I am just really just kind of spreading this on here now for those of you that are new to the channel just know that you're going to hear the TV in the background you're going to hear dogs barking you're going to hear kids arguing with their mom I mean there's anything can happen here because I like to keep it kind of not like a studio, but I like to think that you guys are invited into my home and you just get to hear everything. You're going to hear Question me. from the chat. Huh? Okay. Uh, Question from the chat. Let me just finish hey. up what I was saying and then yep, yep. we'll take those. So I wanted to make that warning. Number two, I wanted to make another announcement is that tomorrow live, yes, live on this channel, we are going to be doing the silent auction. You're going to hear all the things that we're going to put up. And this is for charity, guys. So <clears throat> we're hoping that we can raise a lot of money and take care of a lot of good things before we head to Jed and Con. And the reason we're doing this, well, I've got to make some more room for all the new games that are going to be coming in. 
And remember, we're always looking at the new stuff and things like that. So what better than to give you guys an opportunity to buy a bunch of games cheap and all the money go, or proceeds will go to a worthy charity um, that, or somebody that is in need. So also, if you're in need, do me a favor. If, uh, if you're having a tough time, you're out of work, sick or something, and you need some cash, well, we try to help gamers and do our best and we've sent and helped a lot of people and I'm not bragging but I'm just trying to state a fact that we are here to help and also show you how to paint and how to color your world and take you away sometimes from life as it is so with that said girls what do you got for me just do and now you guys don't talk Hello? Oh, I think we lost everybody, did we? Girls? I guess we lost the girls. Helen? That's all right. Yeah, it's something. I, it, I screwed something up. So you, okay, interrupt me, so you interrupt me five times, and then when I finally go, okay, girls, it's all your chat. And then nothing. I get. I, 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 get I didn't hear air. you. <laughs> I didn't hear you at all. all right, I, I will move this. I will move these guys out of the way, and I will move this a little closer. Now you should be able to hear me just fine. How's that? Uh, Jimmy B asks, "Did you base coat these, or is this how they came out of the box?" These are based. I primed them with a white, flat white primer. And the reason I did that, because here's the way they come out of the box. So let's show you how they came out of the box. Am I still, am I in the camera where you guys can see? I hope so. Yes, you are. All right. They come gray like this. So everything comes, okay, there we go. Everything comes gray and uh, you're going to want to prime it from that point on. And what I do is I just prime it white because like I said, I, I, I really want to have this translucent look i want this ghostly look now you're thinking oh well you know this is a special paint that are just for this particular thing how many of you out there play um swords and sorcery that's a good question huh well they have a pack it's called the ghost pack oh, let me see if i can reach over there and get the thing here i'm sorry if i'm getting in the way Hold on. Okay, here we go. So they have this thing that's called the um, Ghost Souls form, and you all have died in Swords and Sorcery at least once. So this is such a great technical paint that you can use it on other figures. So you can get that ethereal type of feel, and that's what we're trying to do here is we're building outwards and I'm going to show you how we're going to shade and do things and we're going to make it really really easy for you guys to really pick up on this and I'm just going to get a little bit more of that and like I said the by doing it in white and like if you tried to do this in a darker color it just wouldn't work and uh, I will show you that as a matter of fact how about we do that I'm just getting in here a little bit and don't forget that you, don't be shy, you can go over to our Discord, you can drop into the lounge, anybody can, you don't have to be a patron today, you can just drop in the lounge, and if you want to talk and ask a, a, a question live on YouTube, well, hey, that's why we have it here. So, at Rob's Tabletop, you can just, you get to talk to us, you get to feel like you're part of the community. So anyways, we have this guy who is from um, from Swords and Sorcery. And by just taking this and by making sure that you get nice even strokes on this, and by just doing this, you're going to, and if you can see I painted them white, and using this, it gives it a nice ghostly feel to it. So when your guy dies, you can swap him out with this guy. You know, the objective, let's be real nobody wants to die in this game but sometimes it just happens and you have to go all the way to the starting point you might as well go back in style right so 
I'm going to show you how we're really going to make these look ghostly. And I'm just going to tighten this guy up. Those of you that are just coming in and saying, hey, wait a minute, that's not Soul Wars. I'm just showing and doing something a little extra to explain how this technical paint really, really is a great thing to have, especially when you're dealing with painting ghosts or you're going for a certain type of look. And you can see that we're just going to go over every bit. He's dead anyways, right? I've got a question for you, Rob. And who are we, am I speaking to? It's MGK2020. MGK2020, what is up, my brother? First of all, welcome to uh, our live painting today. And fire your question away, my good friend. So do you have a favorite thing to paint, or do you like painting some things more than others? For instance, do you like painting horror like bad guy ghostly figures more than knights or sci-fi more than fantasy you know that's a pretty good question um i think you know i can tell you this much i hate blood rage it actually makes me physically sick to paint it i think it's because i painted it so much at first it was kind of fun but it was also kind of difficult because when i got the game to paint it, I did not have anything to go by. Uh, I had just gotten the figures sent to me, and, and somebody asked me, can you paint this? And sure enough, I painted it, and I kind of guessed. And if they just they just didn't do anything for me. Another game I cannot stand to paint, and I'm, I'm, it's killing me right now, and I'll paint a couple figures and I'll walk away, is Rum and Bones. I am really struggling with that. Now... What are the things that I really enjoy to paint? Um, I'll tell you, a lot of times it is figures like this with a lot of detail. Uh, anything from Games Workshop I usually enjoy. Uh, I get bored if I'm doing um, Blood Angels uh, very easily. I just find them very boring, uh, and I have a huge army of them. Um, but probably... I like doing spaceships so and ships. So uh, sci-fi is a favorite of mine. I like doing uh, ships. And I like painting tanks. I've always enjoyed painting tanks. So sometimes it just really depends on the figure. Does it interest me? Is it something I'm looking forward to play, paying, playing? And I, I go, well, this will look really cool if I can do X, Y, or Z. So sometimes it's just not, it, it, it's more what hits me. Like the one thing I'm really interested in painting is um, there is a, uh, there is that dragon from Bones. Now I'm not a big guy to just grab anything from Bones. If it doesn't fit into a game, I usually don't have an interest in it. But they did this three-headed or six-headed dragon or something. And I talked to Joe at Miniature Market, and I said, Joe, can you get a hold of one of those for me? I don't care what it costs. I want, see, I got to whisper because I don't want the wife to hear that, the queen of all things. But I said, I want one of those. And he said, I'll see what I can do. I just want to paint it. And I start thinking about what I can do with my airbrush. And that just really just, right now, that's on my mind. So there you go. I think... That answers your question in long form. All right. So as you can see. Okay, uh, Genghis had a question. Go ahead. Wanted to know if you have seen the new Games Workshop Banshee Ghost Bride model. It says it looks amazing. Not yet, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to get anything to do with this new uh, this this new uh, system. Uh, a matter of fact, I have. Uh, the mallet sorcery over there that I have to mm -hmm. crack open. So I'm going to be putting all the spells together. Um, those are, look just fantastic. I would get it, but right now I'm really kind of pinned in here. Uh, only because I just jumped into this last minute. This is a last minute kind of, okay, let's paint. I didn't want to schedule anything because I wasn't sure if I was going to do anything, especially since we're going to be live tomorrow for the auction. 
and uh, there's a lot of good stuff that's going to be going up on that auction while, while I got some of you here. So you're going to want to hear. Uh, you're going to be able to get the entire set of Rising Sun. Um, there's Flames of War painted. There's going to be some 40K stuff uh, painted. Uh, just just a lot, a lot of stuff. And just a, and, and a lot of Euro games, a lot of war games. <laughs> I really mixed it up a lot. Go ahead. Okay. Um, one thing is Helen asked if you had shown what paint you're using. So maybe for the late people, you could show that paint again. Yes. Yeah, so once I'm done with this last figure here, mm -hmm. I will show everybody exactly what we got here. And then I will pull out the figures that I already kind of prepped ahead of time so we can kind of keep motoring um, while these dry. Okay. Jason Miller has a question. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. No, he he asks... Everybody. Is Rob ready to be pile driven off the top turnbuckle at Gen Con? Tell Jason Miller this, okay? He's listening, you know. Yes. Oh, okay. I want you to listen to this, Sonny Boy, okay? I'm going to make it very simple for you, okay? Dying is no way to make a living. So, if I were you... I'd keep shit up before I come to Gen Con and wearing my super tights and decide to come off the top balcony onto your vet. Well, you know something? I would need a, mic a microscope to try to find you because you're so small and puny and helpless. <laughs> but, um, and that was said with all love. With all love. Okay. With nothing but love. We, we have another question. Go ahead. How do you feel about the design of the night hop themselves? Um, I think they're very good. They're very detailed. Nathaniel thinks they're comical to being too literal. Huh? Between comical and being too literal together. They're... Oh, I, I don't know. I kind of like them. I think they're, they're really something kind of cool. I, 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 I like what I, I'm seeing. I'm having fun painting them. And for me, hey, count me in. <laughs> count me in. That's all I can say about that. Okay, so this is the last guy here. Um, I did do some prep work on some. I still have a couple to put together, but my plan is this, folks. And I'm going to try to do something next week. I was going to try to do it this week and rush and really try to get these painted but i think we're gonna we're gonna turn this into a couple live episodes so when i get done with this we are going to do we're going to get somebody on discord that has it and we are going to play live where i'm going to move for them i have to figure out the rolling that's the only thing if they don't mind me rolling for them or putting dice into a dice tower now what i was thinking of doing was getting a number of dice different colors and they get to choose which color and tell me how many of the dice go into the dice tower that way they feel they have some kind of control so i was thinking of trying to do this live and just doing a simple battle as a test now also we are going to be doing a we're going to be playing aventura and i believe that i'm going to take some of you from the audience and have you play with us. So we'll see how that goes. Now, look at this guy. This is another one of those guys from um, from Swords and Sorcery. I really think this stuff really kind of works really, really well. But we'll talk about that yet later. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Uh, first off, Jason Miller says, I love the fact that when you said Jason Miller has a question... And Rob just sighed and said, Jesus. Well, you know, Jason Miller. <laughs> Jason Miller is a special type of guy. Um, yep. He stalks a lot of channels and just causes bedlam there. And, uh, you know, what can you say about a guy, you know, that, that really just is a little too cocky for his own good when his wife is basically on a mercy mission by staying married to him. 
<laughs> and okay. it is a mercy mission. I've I've heard the groans of this poor woman. This woman is really up for a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> okay. Gramtastic? The Gramtastic. It's not Gramtastic. It's the Gramtastic. The Gramtastic. Thank you. Wants to know where you will be so they can get their annual Gen Con hug. Um, I will be at the Miniature Market uh, booth for a little while, but, y you know, you're really going to have to catch me this year. I'm going to be flying around. Um, we are going to be, we're going to tape more than we've ever taped uh, f for the channel. We plan on getting up at least four four videos a, a night. Um, that's my walk around as well as uh, uh, some interviews and stuff like that. We're going to try to get as many videos so you can see all the new games as quickly as possible. Uh, it's ambitious, but I have a great camera person that is going to be helping me. And we're going to get it done one way or another. All right. Come to Andrew Mitchell joining us on the stream. Hello, Andrew. As you can see, I already prepped this guy. This is going to be a Monday live paint because I'm, there's a lot of different things that I'm going to show you. But as you can see, I really got this ghostly paint on it. And it really, you know, you could get away with it like that if you really wanted to. But nah, we got to go further than that. Um, the paint that I used, okay, is a Hex Wrath Flame. Okay, it is one of the new paints, technical paints, uh, especially for these particular models. And it's just a lot of fun to do. So we're going to we're going to give it all we got. Gramtastic. All you have to do is get a hold of me and uh, you know, I will come see you without a doubt. Uh, we're going to move some of these guys over here because they might still be wet. And we're going to bring in some of these other fellas here that have already been pre-done. All right, so the next paint that we are going to use and we're going to bring out, uh, and maybe we might go an hour and a half just because I'm falling behind a little bit. Um, this is a Night Haunt Gloom, okay? So we're gonna shake this up real good. We're gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of do a, a few of them and then, um, as that dries, we're gonna go back over and we're gonna try to get a few of these done tonight. I definitely wanna get some of these done. So I'm gonna take this strictly out and I'm going, I have a little dish over here and uh, either I, I'm gonna take it out of here and work it on the dish uh, just to just try to keep a good area here. I like my little dish here. Okay, uh, Brew Geek. Yes, he did send out. Oh, she got gotcha. you. <laughs> Helen answered you. Okay. Sorry. Uh, and don't forget that we have another auction tomorrow. So all we're going to do is take this night gaunt and we're going to work it just over onto. Now, this is too big of a, a brush. So I'm just going to go to something a little bit smaller. You know, it's, it's, sometimes I can work with a bigger brush, and then sometimes I just can't, and i got to go smaller. And that's exactly what we're going to do here, and I'm just going to work. It's only part of his cloak that gets done here. Now, if you go over some areas, don't worry about it, because there are ways to around it, and you can, you can just kind of just work your way through and forgive my reach in front of you folks but as you can see I just kind of want to get this in here and there we go and we really don't want if this is only for his cloak area the cloak part that goes over and you're going to see how we're going to kind of blend all this together a bit it's really just It'll come out pretty, pretty nice. Hopefully, I'm still in camera. Am I still in camera? Okay, now I am. Yes, oh, you are. Okay. Jason's giving you more lip. Something about flying around, not with those old creaky, wrinkly bones. Oh, he's calling me old, is he? Listen, I may be old, but 
I still. What's that, Tim? Oh, he's just playing around. No, it's not serious. I may be old, but the fire burns brightest before it goes out. Okay? And you do not want to get caught in this flame, punk. <laughs> He'll be at Gigamic. He'll be at Gigamic. Let me tell you something. He does. No, uh, oh. the Graham. The Graham Tastic will oh, be. The Graham Tastic. Not the Jason Miller. Miller. See? He's got to come in here. He's got to. What am I hitting? Okay. Let's see, Lofus92 says, this is the most soothing stream on YouTube. There's something so chill about painting. Well, thank you. I, I really do try to teach people things. And, uh, you know, it's not about showing off. Anybody can show off. A matter of fact, the most important thing about painting is dropping the figure the way I do. But uh, <laughs> anybody can do this. Just anybody. Anybody can just do it you just need a little bit of a blueprint and you can figure it out i'm telling you you can be painting your own board game figures i mean like you just saw that we were working on swords and sorcery um you know i like to think that you know that 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 people just take the initiative to go out there and you know a lot of these guys want to charge outrageous outrageous prices but once you get your set of paints and stuff like that and you find that it's a relaxing hobby and it's something that you enjoy to do you know you don't have to pay somebody astronomical prices to paint your scythe or something like that you know you could do it yourself and it just adds to what is already an enjoyable hobby let's face it board gaming is fun Gramtastic says Rob can bench press a planet um a moon. <laughs> Let's leave it to a moon. There we go. All right. So we're gonna play. And that. Kabuki Kid is in the house. The Kabuki Kid. The most. The, Kabuki. the most traveled. Yes. Person. That woman's everywhere. If there's a live stream, she's there. If there is a yes, comment, she's, she's there. Now we're just taking this night gaunt color and we're just going over the hooded areas because everything else is just, it's kind of spirit, not spiritual, uh, ethereal. There we go. Boy, we have to pull out the big words to paint these guys. All right. So we're just going to keep He on wants going. to know if there was something other than two spaced for dinner tonight. Let me tell you how dinner went tonight, okay? First of all, the queen, it was a success. But not without some grumbling. Because you know what we had today? We had, well, because over the weekend we had, what do we have, kielbasa, Tim? Okay, now she's, she's, she's kind of trying to pretend that she doesn't hear me. We had a uh, kielbasa. So, um... We were going to do it yesterday, but of course you heard about what happened with that disaster because the kids decided to go out, so I don't eat. So what happened was is she took the kielbasa and then she made some eggs and she fried them all together and then she made crunchy potatoes. Now, I've got to give her some credit here. And when she makes crunchy potatoes, time stands still. There is nothing that she can say to me that would aggravate me. As a matter of fact, I was in a pretty bad mood today until I had my crunchy potatoes. Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh boy, I must be in the doghouse. But the crunchy potato thing is what did it. So for me, if you are on my bad side, present me with a plate of crunchy potatoes and everything will be fine. A life lesson for him. says, make sure the queen knows I'm only teasing. Oh, the queen always knows you're teasing. You Listen, it's one thing to deal with me. It's another thing to deal with the queen of the reality. Where's he going? Jim? Oh, okay. The Jarl is off to the gym. To know if he can water down a green paint and get 
a similar effect or the no, same effect. No, I don't think you could. You would have to water it down so much with, oh, what the heck, uh, a matte medium, maybe. But I don't think you would get the translucent. I don't, I, you know, I, I wish I can answer that. I just don't think you can, you can get the quality that you're getting out of this. With water, for sure. You'd need to use either a, a medium or something like yeah. that, because, uh, and you need a pigment that you'd need a really strong pigment with a lot of, or a lot of strong paint with a lot of pigment in it. Yeah, that's not going to break down too easily, because once you get too far with it, it you just lose it. Remember, paint is made up of three things. It's made up of a glue, um, a pigment, and then water. So once you take one of those things and introduce it too much, you start breaking down the uh, paint. And that's not always a good thing. Not always a good thing. All right, we are just motoring along here with our gaunts. Now, you may have to go over this twice because I do have this, I, I, um, this color may have to go over it twice. So once it dries, you know, just double check it and then decide if you have to go over it. We're gonna keep going with a couple more. Where are we at, 25? Okay, we could probably get a couple more in here. <clears throat> and batch painting is the best way to do this to be honest with you. Oh, this is a cool guy. Let's do him. Because... K wants to know, could you paint a green glaze over white to get a similar effect? Green glaze will give you... Well, yeah, it'll kind of give you that effect, but you've got to be very careful with a glaze because the brush marks are more apparent and then you're going to lose the effect. You're going to see what we're going to do with a glaze in a little bit. In a very little bit, I think, if I can just motor through this pretty quickly. All right, let's just keep going here. Yeah, Jason Miller, wait! I thought the paint. I thought paint was made of magic. It is made of magic, and puppy dogs. Hmm. So, do we have anybody in the lounge? Well, they're just being quiet. Oh, jeez. You know, they can ask questions if they want. Looks like. I know it's kind of cool to hang out in the lounge, but don't be afraid to talk or say something or add two cents. That's why we have you guys here. Okay. Kabuki wants to know, what was the last concert you saw? The last concert I saw was Chicago. I, my wife took me for my birthday. I am a, I'm a very big Chicago fan. I love progressive me, uh, music. I'm a big Dream Theater fan and things like that. But Chicago just always hit home for me. It, there's just there's something old school about it. And I was kind of disappointed um, when we got there because I learned that the lead singer that was there for 30 years uh, who was one of my favorites, left the band, and they had another guy coming in. But after he sang a couple songs, the new guy, I was just like, wow, this guy's even better. And uh, we had such a good time. They were so good. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Now, if I had it my way, I'm into this new band that I never even knew existed, and I don't know what it is with me and Japanese pop lately. Okay? I know it sounds weird. I can't help it. It's a sickness. Uh, I got something going on. Maybe I should get checked by a doctor. But I like this band, Scandal, and th there's a song called Burn. And there's a video on YouTube. You can see it. And it's, they are just so good. I don't know what it is. I don't understand what they're saying. It doesn't even matter. Like they say, music is the universal language. I guess I just get so tired of the, the same old music scene that I'm kind of just venturing out and different things are just hitting my ear. Like I like baby metal too, believe it or not. 
Which my wife okay, just yeah. looks at me like I'm a weirdo. <laughs> then it Jason see. has an actual re real question. Oh. We've had a few of those. Is Peter Cetera, was that the singer for Chicago? Um, he was there until 87. Then oh, really? J yeah. Then JD, Jason Schaaf, uh took his place. Uh, yeah, I remember Peter Cetera. Yeah, he was with the band for... He was the one that got into the Hall of Fame, and I think that's part of the problem why he left the band. The band makes it into the Hall of Fame, and Jason was actually there longer than Peter Cetera. And they actually did a couple of albums. So the band that the Hall of Fame puts in is is with Peter Cetera and not this guy when they should have included both of them. Peter Cetera does not go to the Hall of Fame thing, okay? And, yeah, but he yeah. wasn't the original singer either. Yes, he was. He was? The Who, uh, when they first started? Peter Cetera I was. thought he was the second... No, Peter Cetera, Peter Cetera was the original singer and the original bass player. There was a, a guitarist, Terry Grath, who accidentally shot himself. And uh, that was a big moment in Chicago because that kind of changed. That was like the first major change of the lineup. All right, we're going to go just a little further with this. And then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next while this color dries. And I'd like to get, uh, you know, a couple of these done at least um, just to show you how, how to do it. Now, all I'm doing is taking the cloak and going over to cloak. And I know it looks like they have more cloak to them, but they don't. This cloak goes over and the rest of it is kind of like that ethereal thing. So it... It can be a little difficult to pick it out, but you'll be able to pick it out. And just take your time. I always say that, that you, anybody can paint anything if you just take your time and don't let it be intimidated. Don't let people talk you into being intimidated. You know, if you see a video on, on YouTube, and there's a lot of great videos out there that can give you some ideas to do things but just make it your own there you know you may take an idea from me you may take an idea from somebody else it doesn't matter all I care is that you guys pick up a brush pick it up pick up a brush and just paint paint your zombicide paint your starship samurai you know which I'll be painting very soon um, you know, paint your giant killer robots. Just because some of them are done, why not do them all? It really adds to a game. And especially when you're able to paint it yourself, it just means that much more. And it makes that game, it breathes life into a game sometimes. Even if the game's kind of bad. MGK2020, I got another question for you, Ron. Go ahead, my brother. The floor is yours. If you could have someone paint a game for you... Who would it be, and what would be the game? Hmm. Boy, I don't watch many painters. You know who I would want to paint a game for me, only because I love the guy dearly? Uh, Joel Eddy. He's been doing really, really well with some of his Warhammer stuff, and I would love for him to paint... Uh, I would love for him to paint some sigma rights for me i think if that was that was one th person that had to paint something for me it would be him uh i just like how he's progressed in the hobby you know he always he's been more of a board game reviewer but lately he's kind of come to the dark side and started um painting more things oops sorry i hit the thing I just want to make sure I get this. Hold on. I know I'm off camera a little bit, but just give me a second here. I just want to touch this before I start going other places. Uh, but, says, an unpainted game is a sad game. I think we all would totally agree with you on that. And, you know, listen, we all can't, you know, you know I, I believe anybody can paint, okay? But you got to have the patience. 
and you gotta you gotta take it like riding on a bicycle you're gonna fall a couple times but you can get back up on that bike and eventually pedal all the way to the end of the street and get one of those uh, ice cream bars with the chocolate piece in the middle those are really good I just wanted to sneak in hi Papa Bear what's up Papa Bear all right so as you can see Bella I know I was talking about the ice cream bar but don't get all worked up on me all right so right now we're right at a stage where <laughs> we're going to take this and we're going to do a little dry brushing so with these guys here this is these are the guys that we're going to focus on and I'm going to bring the this guy in okay and probably this guy and maybe her now I know what you're saying that's not part of the set but that's okay because it's proving a point that I want to prove here okay there we go so we're going to take a celestial gray paint this is a light gray all right and what we're going to do is we're going to take some of this gray paint and i'm going to take a little on here not a lot i'm going to put this over here for a minute oh, what's she barking at like i said guys you're going to see some barking and you're going to see some this is real life here they see a squirrel in the backyard. I have these two German Shepherds. They really are incredible. All right, so let's start here first. Okay, so we've got a little bit of paint. Now, I always check to see how much paint I got by just always going on the base because I'm going to go over the base anyways. All right, and let's get one that's dry. That usually works a little bit better. And... All I want to do is I kind of want to just start kind of going over and start bringing out a little bit of that that cloak. All right, I want to change the color of that cloak just a little bit. And I'm hitting the high points mostly. And you want to keep your thing nice and moist. And you kind of want to work over even that color that we just put on and just kind of work over. And what that's going to do is going to give us a little bit. You can go a little harder, like over here. You see how that's whitening that up a little bit again? And that's kind of what I'm trying to do, is I'm not trying to let that green take over completely. All I'm trying to do is get this color to kind of blend a little bit. And you see, you see the effect that I'm getting there. That's exactly what I'm trying to do. So let's get a little Come bit. to Jedi Jim. Jedi Jim, who I had the pleasure of speaking with at Gen, I mean, uh, at Origins this year. And that was very enjoyable, speaking with him finally and running into him. He's totally, uh, he threatened me a few times. Um, you know, uh, he is a bit of a tough guy. I was a little, a little nervous for my life a little bit. Because he said, hey, Rob, you better do some more painting soon or else. And so here I am. Now, here we are. Now, look what I'm doing here. Do you see how that's bringing out? And I'm just hitting the edges there just enough to lighten that up and then i'm going over the top of that that um that uh oh what's that color uh nighthawk gloom and Buki wants to know if uh the death cthulhu death may die is going to uh break your non kickstart back streak nope nope never will I am not going to, I don't even know anything about it. When you, let me tell you something, a game that I had more faith in coming out and I was excited for is Dungeon Crusade. Okay. 
I believed Roger. I was into it. I was actually going to prepay for one. But it keeps getting pushed off and pushed off. I know he updates people, but I'll be honest with you. I don't... It, it, it's, it's, it's been two years now. And I understand he's a first-time publisher. But holy cow, am I disappointed. You know, I think he's trying to do too much. I've said that before. I love the guy. I love the guy dearly. I, I, I'm his biggest fan, and I want this game to succeed. But jeez. It may not be out till next year. Oh, i got to fix that guy. Hey, Jim has a comment. He asks if uh, the con he says the contact points look pretty fragile for the shaky hands of some of us, quote, youth challenged painters. Mm -hmm. um, for something like that, I would. Um, hmm. You know what? Hold on. All right. What I would do is uh, I just need to get a paint. Hold on. I just thought of something. Uh, the way I would do it is if you feel that it's too flimsy, then definitely, definitely, definitely um, a gra just grab that point or, or hold that point or, or, or just don't use, uh, use maybe a lighter, um, a less, a, a bigger brush, a brush with a longer, longer reach like that. So it has more play in it, so it doesn't uh, catch as much. I'll show you what I mean as soon as I can find this stupid paint that I forgot to take out. And of course, I got my computer right on the thing. Okay, we're getting... Uh, Kabuki says your volume is crazy low. All right. And maybe you're far away from your mic. Hold on. Can you hear me now? And we have to wait for it to answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's... Sounds good, Rob. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I had to lean back, so you just got to give me a minute here, because I'm looking for a paint. And... Take to himself me. over there. What's that? So take this as you muttering to yourself over there. Probably. Only buys games that have amazing miniatures. Do I only buy games that have amazing amazing miniatures? He buys games that have amazing miniatures. We know that, you know, on it. No, I don't. I, I, I do like games without miniatures. Believe it or not. No, yeah, Jason buys them. Oh. Okay. He's he's big into miniatures and that. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, you kind of broke up there. I did. Helen. Sorry. No, Helen did. Oh. So we only got the second half of the statement. I blame my bad interwebs. That'll do it. My interwebs time. are worse than your interwebs. Hmm. All right. Cuts out this time. And all we're doing is just dry brushing away. We're trying to get a quick result here. But what I want to do, I'm looking, yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, there we go. I wanted a little lighter color. Because I do want it to be a little more haunting. There we go. And I'm going to go with a very dry... I'm going to go with a long beard gray. So I'm going to go a little lighter. As a matter of fact, I'm going to reach over here. Sorry about that, folks. And grab a paper towel. All right. Let's see if we can just do that. Do that. All right. That's exactly what I want. So, let's see. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit lighter than I wanted. I wanted to come lighter, but I didn't want to go too light. I didn't want to go white. And this is perfect for what I'm, I'm trying to achieve. 
Again, just very lightly, just trying to hit those high points in there. You could pull over his face a little bit, over his arms. Jason Miller just uh, confirmed that Roger said that uh, Dungeon Crusade will not be coming out in 2018 after all. Like I said, uh, it is going to get my most disappointing game of 2018. I can Winning game you. of 2017, too? Uh, yeah. If it comes out, I hope it's good. It better be good. K2020 says, seems like the live viewership is up lately. It is? Uh, we have 28 currently watching, so well, yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, it's not bad. Okay. Uh... Kabuki is still having trouble hearing you, she says. Is everybody else hearing me, or is, or is it just it, Kabuki? It's easier to hear you in the Discord than it is on YouTube. I noticed that, too. Huh. All right, let me take a look at something. Can't, yeah, the, the chat needs to let us know things like that, because we're all, we're, uh, and I are both, uh, connected to Rob now, so we're hearing a different audio than what you guys are. So, all right, that's off. That's off, and that should be all the way up. Let me see if this is going. To... The auction was very successful. All right, is that any better? Oh, hello. Wait for the chat to catch up. Yeah. All right. Jedi Jim says, sounds okay to hear to him. Von Deacon said, I hear you fine, by the way. Hi, all. All right. Uh, volume down again. The volume's down again? Asked if Kabuki turned her volume down. Oh. Uh, David Vaughn also says it sounds good to him on YouTube. All right. Didn't it's work. better. Better. Okay. All right. And where was I here? Okay. This, 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 this here, there, there, there. All right. Let's see if we can just get this kind of finished. And again, you're just hitting these high points, high points. Welcome, Godzilla Lover. He can hear us just fine. Great. If Godzilla Lover can hear us, then we're fine. Timon says it's still low, still low so I'm tell, not sure what's going Timon, on. Tell Timon I don't care what he thinks. How's that? Tell him to stop messing with the damn channel. Thinks we don't know what's going on. That team on. All right. Now you see how how by just getting that a certain way, see how that all starts to come together there. And we're just taking. Uh, 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 we're using that. We're using that 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 um, long beard gray and really just letting it do its thing gives that haunting kind of effect but we're not done yet folks no sorry uh-uh let me get a little bit more here what time do we got oh we're actually doing pretty good says hi from france who said that you front uh excuse me you frost well hello i hope you are doing well I know you must be excited that France is in the final of the World Cup. Who won the England game? I knew I forgot to watch something today. England. England won? Whoever they were playing. They were playing yeah, Croatia. Croatia won? Croatia won. Ugh. What was the score? Two to one. They scored in the uh, 109th minute. Oh. <laughs> Heartbreak again. 
Heartbreak again for England. The bear will be at Gen Con. Who will be there? The bear. The bear. Bob bear. Bob bear. <laughs> Papa bear. Papa bear. Bless you. He's working on this with the Simon demo team. Nice. I tried to um, get an interview with uh, Simon. Matter of fact, uh, at Origins, and some guy was like so rude. And then I told Pete about it, and Pete was like, "Who was it?" And I said, "I don't know. I don't care." But you know, all I wanted to do was just get some film. That's why you guys don't see. Uh, um, you didn't see me do a video on um, the. Well, what's the big game they got coming out? Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's why you didn't see that. All right. Now we got these guys right there. I forgot to paint those. Oh boy. Hold on, I could do it quick. I could do it quick. But um, I want to paint these flames. Um, I just had the color for crying out loud. Boy, I'm just falling apart here. Where's that? Oh, there it is. It's behind the microphone that I had to pull closer. All right, there we go. And I forgot to paint these flames here. That's all right. There's going to be times when you're just going to forget stuff. It's okay. It happens. So we want to paint these these flames of from the candelabra. And you want to make it exactly that. It's like magical flames. All right. Hopefully that'll dry pretty quickly. Von Deacon asks if he can get a close-up of the mini you're working on. He's trying to see the colors. Uh, Bottom left corner of the frame. What? They're painting in the bottom left corner oh, of yeah, the frame. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Just so you know. Sorry, it was just because of the what I was doing there. I was just trying to catch up real quick. All right, let's get that out of there. All right, we're going to take that long beard gray that I was telling you about, and we're going to give our friends here from who are basically outsiders, and they really feel kind of like, well, gee, why are we here? kind of feel from um, sword and sorcery we're going to give them the treatment too so how do we get a little more ghost ghostly look from these guys as you can see these this is a very very detailed model and all we want to do is the same thing that we were doing with with our friend there and we're just going to take that that gray and just kind of just kind of work it just a little bit to make that green a little bit more ghostly and you can see how he's starting to take that ethereal which is a big word for me <laughs> feel by just really working that brush taking that brush and working it in there and you can see that that's the effect that I am going for Time is it seven? Seven fifty-three. And we may stay on till seven thirty. Maybe we'll go an hour and a half. I think that'll be all right. I could still get the other stuff I need to get done done. And we could take a little bit more here. Not too much. Want to be careful because we don't. We don't want to overkill. But we want to hit those high points. Hey. Von Deacon says he was looking for the dry brushed one. Sorry. Okay. Well, we can only do so much. We'll come back to it when we go to the other color. That's the best way I can tell you. So, again... All... Mitchell says Roger's latest update says Dungeon Crusade will wrap up this summer. Yeah, see, he, he keeps on... 
he said it was supposed to be wrapped up at the end of uh, at, at the end of May. Now then it was the end of June. Now it's the end of summer. Nah, I'm sorry, I'm out. That's why I don't do Kickstarters. See it on this one, thanks. What's that? Uh, Van, De Van Deacon says he can see it on this one. Okay, great. So that's. Do you see what I'm going for here? Do you see how I'm, I'm taking and I'm working that color in there, and that's going to give me that ghostly look. So when he dies, and he's walking back, you know, he at least is fashionable. So I'm going to do that with the rest of these off camera. But right now we're going to concentrate on, on getting these guys where we need to get them. All right, the next color that we're going to be using is an old friend of ours. And let me just clear off this brush a little bit more. It is an old friend that is with us quite often. And we... Silla Lover asks if there's a brand of brushes you recommend. Um, what do I normally use? Um, I use... Geez, I use so many different types of brushes. Uh, that's the, some of these are generic. Some of these are are um, um, I get from what's that place? Artist Artist Touch or something like that. I you know I really like those. Those have been excellent for me. So you know it really just depends. Um, I really, to be honest with you, I just don't, I, 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 there's not just one set of brushes. Do I think the Army Builder brushes are good and all that stuff? Oh my God, yeah. But I also am perfectly comfortable paying $10 for a bag of brushes and, and going to town uh, in a nutshell. Uh, let me just get something here. And all right. So now we are going to take Lead Belcher, an old friend of ours, and we are going to hit all these areas here, like these chains. I have no idea, Kabuki. She's still having a hard time hearing, but says she can hear everyone else clearly. All right, I don't, I don't know what to say. She must be working for somebody, trying to distract us. All right. Is she the only one? I don't know if I'm the, just... I uh, have said that you sort of have a little bit as you, you know, sort of shift around, but generally you're definitely hearable. All right, that's all that matters. All right, we're going to put these chains on. We're going to add... We're going to add this brush. Yes, thank you. What's that? Two for the answer. And and I'm not talking right now, so. <laughs> there's anyone else? Hmm. There's no one else. No. Is that thank what you said? You. No, just they're not saying anything. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. I said I wasn't talking. So if anybody can't hear me, it's because I'm not talking. So we did the chain. We're going to do the chain there. And we're going to put him down. We're going to get this headset squared squared away all right let me move this i'll move this a little closer so maybe that helps yeah hi jim says you're coming through completely clear for him okay papa bear papa bear says he recently tried zenithal priming have you given it a go and if so what are your thoughts uh no i haven't zenithal priming uh you paint a black base and then you paint white from like the top or uh, 
what, where, where you, the light would be coming from to give you an idea of where highlights and shadows should be. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Primer. Um, no, I haven't. I, I just... I don't know. I'm just so doggone old school. You know, it, it, it's a funny thing. You, you, when you're a kid, you, you, you paint with, um, you know, uh, testers kits. You know, now they have so many different painting techniques. I remember getting a model magazine and just going, oh, gee, I wonder if I can do that. And, you know, you didn't have all the advantages that you have today with technical paints and and stuff um, and I just I just always feel that I just do my best work just sticking to what I know you know there's different things I want to try and stuff like that and I, I've, I've seen it and it looks interesting but you know I just listen with the amount of stuff I have to paint I just stick with what I know You know, I try not to get too cute. Let's put it that way. He says you're sounding better. Uh, and several people have uh, commented on the Watch It Played uh, video from this morning. You know, uh, you know, I have to thank Rodney again. I sent him a text and I, I thanked him, but there was n there was no need. I, I, and I begged him. I said, listen, this is for you and Luke. I go, I want you guys to play this because I got to play it with uh, with the Jarl. And I said, man, Rodney will really like this. And I've always wanted to do something for him. I saw him a little bit at, at Origins. I didn't get to spend any time with him. Uh, we made an agreement that we were going to go out to dinner uh, the night that we both get in on Wednesday. We're going to St. Elmo's. So, you know, we're, we'll have some time to spend together and talk. And I really want... You know, I like to have a friend in this business. And if I had to have a friend in this business, I would want it to be Rodney. Uh, I think Rodney is the salt of the earth. I really like him. I admire him. He, I remember the very first video I ever saw, uh, which got me back into playing board games and stuff like that. And that was his uh, Mansions of Madness. Uh, the job he did and I just thought wow that it just looks so much fun and I ran out and I got that and um, I just never looked back and it's thanks to him so I wanted to do something nice for him and and uh, I just told him you know you, I, I'm not looking for you know I'm not looking for any kind of push or any kind of help with the channel and uh, he made that video and I didn't get to see it till later in the day I actually got a text from um, Pete Shire, another good friend of mine. And he said, hey, uh, video that Rodney did. I go, okay, <laughs> is it cool? Because uh, usually if Rodney does a video, it's very cool. He said, no, he was talking about you. And I go, why would he be talking about me? What did I do wrong? And uh, <laughs> sure enough, he just was just so nice. And uh, I'll never forget that, so... Uh, like I said, I, I'm going to see him at Gen Con and uh, we owe him a nice dinner because the, he didn't have to do that. And that's the type of guy he is. He doesn't have to do things for anybody. But he does because, you know, he, he said something to me and we had a brief conversation about something. And he said, you know something, there's room for everybody in this business. You know, it's a great business. There's room for everybody. And I remember him saying that, and I go, you know, he's right. You know, everybody can do well here. You know, and if everybody just work together and not be jealous of this one or that one or complain about this one with all the drama, it would be a better place. But, you know, human beings are always going to be human beings. But he was dead right, and I, I, I believe those words, and it stuck with me. And, uh, like I said, if there's a guy I want to know, it's Rodney. And, uh, I just think him, Marty, uh, the guys from the Secret Cabal, who I was surprised even knew who I was. Um, they were just very nice to me when I saw them. 
because uh, they were they stay at the Marriott, and uh, somebody had told me that they stayed at the Marriott. So I just decided to kind of go over there during the day because I didn't see him in the convention center, and uh, sure enough, they were up playing. They were playing. Uh, as a matter of fact, they were playing Thief, which is a great game from Academy Games, and um, it was just. You know, I saw him, you know, he goes, hey, how you doing? And and, and Marty was nice, and all the guys uh, from the Cabal were nice, and, you know, they just make you feel welcomed. And uh, those are special people there, that is for sure. So that's all I pretty much have to say for that, and I can't thank him enough, and I will never forget the kind words that he said, and uh, they mean a lot. You see that lead belcher really lays in there real nice. Oh. Welcome to Rhonda D. Miss Rhonda D. Has she gotten a chance to play her uh, 1500? We sent her 1500 and she got it. So I was happy that she got her hands on it. Man Army said the Watch It Played video brought him here. He's glad it did. This is an awesome place. Hey, thanks a lot. And uh, again, Rodney's an awesome guy. And uh, you're going to find we're a very tight-knit community. We're not the biggest channel on the planet, but I like to think that we have some really special people that we get to share with other channels. And uh, But whenever we're on, we all come together, and we just it's just a kind of hangout thing, you know? And like I said, oh, uh, by the way, since I'm staying on a little later, what is it, 7.05? Yeah, because I can finish these by 7.30. Um, or maybe even later, depending on how much fun we're having. Um, oh, I, I went on that sword. I didn't want to do that. Real quick, Rob, I'll just say to Go the ahead. people in chat, too, the new people, remember to join us in Discord. You can ask your questions live through Discord as well. See? We QMGK. Yeah, we we include everybody. So you, you know, you don't have to be shy if you want to you want to hear yourself on YouTube. Guess what? You can. I mean, of course you could just make your own channel, but if you want to be part of something, and that's what we try to do. I I I just I always thought, you know, there were a couple channels like when I first started looking at, at doing this uh, 3 years ago. I said, "What, you know, all right, I'm I'm going to try my hand at this." You know, I, I don't want to be like everybody else, but what what do I want to do? I want to be a part of something. Well, why don't you make something that people are a part of? And that's that's why the community is the biggest part of this channel. You guys make up what this channel is. Even though Kabuki can't hear that. <laughs> Linda says that she's reading through the rules and has it set up so she can learn it well enough to teach it. There you go. You go, you go, girl. That's you again, you MGK. My Discord server has crashed on me, so. Helen, what's going on? Server's fine. My, my, uh, my, is being old and cranky. Helen, she you has... need you need a laptop. Yeah. So I'm sending <laughs> I'm sending you a laptop. I've got. 20 of them here you know and I'll get that desktop as soon as I can from that guy as soon as he gets it to me but in the meantime I think I'm just gonna send you a laptop just so you can do all the work that you need to do now I know it's kind of hard coming into the 21st century but cool listen. around here you talk about you being old school yeah I know what time are you playing Ultima <laughs> Okay, if nobody got that reference, then I know I'm really, really old. Uh, okay, nobody got that. Damn. No, I did. I just, I never played it. I played Underlight, which is even older stuff. So. Well, how many people played the Gold Box series games? Because those were the true role-playing games. If you were going to play a role-playing game on your computer, you wanted to play the Gold Box series Pool of Radiance, which was an excellent, excellent, excellent. Yes, game. I do remember that. How many people? I did. Oh, Kabuki remembers Ultima, of course. 
Kabuki rules. Kabuki's like me. We were talking today. I was talking to a friend of mine. And we were talking about all the old stuff that we used to watch. And Gregorius. Gregorius remembers. And, and MGK. And we were talking about what we would watch, you know, on a Saturday. And I would say that that when I was a kid, it would be 50 cents to go to the theater. And you would get there for 1 o'clock. No, 12 o'clock, excuse me. And what you would watch, you would get a double feature. You would get a karate movie. Okay, so it either would be Bruce Lee or some, or some, you know, Fists of Death or something like that or... Or whatever it was, then you would get, but um, not Buck Rogers, Flash Gordon serial, and then from there, you would get a scary movie, which was the main feature, you know, some kind of science fiction, sci-fi, fifty movie or something, and sometimes they would show something modern, but most of the time it was just all this matinee stuff, and um, oh my God, we just. Go on a Saturday. We get home around five o'clock, just in time to watch UFO, then Outer Limits, and then uh, because I was, uh, I would get the New York channels. It would be racing from Aqueduct at eleven o'clock, and then right into Pro Championship Wrestling at twelve o'clock. Oh my God! What glorious, glorious days! Saturdays were filled after wrestling. Then you would watch. Uh, the creature feature and uh, that's a pretty good weekend if you ask me all right let's keep going here so we got that now we're going to add a little brass here um, and we're going to do that with some Baldazar gold let's show it so you guys can see it huh there we go yeah Harlan Ellison just died recently and I tell you that was for me that was heartbreaking Matter of fact, I was telling, um, I was telling the Queen um, about about how much that guy meant to me. Um, just some of his stories, some of the work that he's done, and things like that. And it's just, it's that guy was, he was a cool dude. That's all I have to say. All right. So now, what we're going to do is. I'm going to paint a Baldazar gold over just over this candle, um, the candle holder here. And we're going to get that up in there. Hopefully, I'm not too far off. See, I keep on messing myself up because I'm kind of confined here today because I got games all over the place that I'm working on. So I'm trying, well, patron stuff. And, of course, we're getting ready for the big auction tomorrow. The charity auction, which we will be doing our best to raise money for those in need. So if you're in need, you can get a hold of me at NovaPrime860 at Hotmail.com. Girls, go ahead. Do the whole promo. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe? Oh, okay. <laughs> comment, subscribe. Yeah. Be a part. Exactly. Be a part of the movement. Hit that bell. Be part of the. Be part of this community. You already are. Stick around. Uh, we do have a Discord channel. Uh, MGK, if you scroll up a little bit, has uh, given us a link. We also have a BGG Guild. Yes, we do. You know the With... guild. The guild is starting to fade a little bit. I think it's because of the Discord. Yes. And I, I understand that, so we're not too worried about. But it's still it's, there, and we can still, still talk on it. <laughs> yes. Nice to go and ask a question because it's persistent. Yeah. Um, the and other news thing and is, announcements will be there too. Yeah, so we're constantly upgrading it, anyways. So I'm taking this this um, Baldazar gold, and I'm just doing the hilt. I'm doing the keys. If there's any keys on this, these guys, um, I think that's just a nice touch in there, and and we're just gonna we're gonna hit that a little bit there, and then hit that, go over that, go over that, 
and just make sure that we hit everything that we need to there we go and that looks pretty good so far so we're gonna let that guy dry a little bit and on this guy we're just gonna we're gonna just add just a little bit here bald is our gold we're gonna take care of his lock here cool and you can see these guys just really come together pretty quickly. They're easy to paint. Uh, nothing gold there. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. Nothing gold there. Oh, here we go. Let's make this lock gold. Or bronze, whatever you want to. And we'll go back behind it. And we'll add that in. Okay, whoops, whoops, whoops. Where'd he go? Oh. Make sure that you hold on to everything. My hands, my hands just aren't the same anymore. I'm gonna change this ball. Just to just change it up, just just because. Sometimes I do things just because. Oliver, you're in great company here. She said. Who? On Saturdays, I Godzilla lover. On Saturdays, oh, God, I'd watch Son of. Sven Gulli, Creature Feature, and the Monstrous Movie with my dad. Come home from school and watch Ultraman and Specter Man. There you it go. was a weird girl. Yes, I still am. You know, the funny thing about it, Godzilla Girl said that? I mean, God, uh, Godzilla Lover said that? Godzilla Lover's a girl? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know that. Well, you, how are you supposed to tell? I mean, come on. Mine have uh, non-gender specific. Yes, exactly. There's not. It's like Kabuki Kid. Last night, I, uh, last night I heard Pep. Pep go, hey, he uh, Kabuki. He asked. <laughs> and I went, oh boy, Kabuki's a girl. But I made that mistake too at one point. And we all know Kabuki's a girl. Okay, let's see what else do we got here that we can add a little. Little flavor flavor here. All right, get that. All right, we're gonna add that in there, and we're gonna come over here a little bit. The lover says, "Yes, I am." Well, how about that? You learn something every day, and that's cool to know. All right, so now the next thing that we're gonna do, and we have to be very, very, very careful when we do this. All right, we're going to clear off this brush. Put this brush up here. We're going to take our, an old favorite, Agrath Earthshade. And move everybody over here a little bit. And all we want to do is kind of hit... Well, you know something? I should wait to do that. Actually, what I'm going to do is anything that has a grave on it, we're going to add, do I want to do that that way? I'm trying to figure this out. Hold on, folks. Even I try to plan things ahead. All right. Yeah, we're going to go with our Agrath Earthshade. And we are going to put that right there. And I'm going to take a medium brush like, like so. Okay. And we're going to go over all our metallics okay and what we want to do is we really kind of want to darken that kind of up a little bit so whoops we knocked that guy over easy easy so by just going over that it's going to give that kind of ancient feel to it because we don't want but we don't want to hit that skin so just be very careful when you're going over and you can see how that darkens things up a bit and you're just going to hit that just ever so lightly and hit it very nicely. There we go. And that's going to take a few minutes to dry, which is perfectly fine because that's going to give us enough time to do something else. And then very quickly, we're going to go into some of the finishing modes that we need to to get this where we want to get it. And the Bull Man Army is taking off. He's taking off? He's got to go, but he says, uh, you've got a new subscriber. Have a great night. 
Hey, thank you, my friend. I hope you have a great day, and thanks for uh, being part of the channel. It, it really means a lot. have two questions from Papa Bear. Go ahead, Papa Bear. Uh, do you have any uh, basing ideas for these guys? A matter of fact, that's what we're going to be doing next. That's what and he wants to know how you do wisps of smoke. Wisps of smoke. Well, um... All right, let me make sure I understand what he's he's asking here. You mean like 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 from a tank or something? Oops, let me get that back in range here. You see how that 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 just goes over the chain and now all of a sudden this this creature, you know, he doesn't have a brand new axe, you know. Bear clarified? Yeah, can you clarify Things that? Yeah, things like kind of like fog or like sort of that aerial. Uh, well, when I smoky. do when I do with a smoke, I, the way I do it is I do it on a cotton ball, and it's usually dry brushing the cotton ball, and I'll make my own like explosions and smoke and stuff like that. Really, just something easy to do. Finger right. is dropped in. Who? Robert Geislinger. Oh, that glory hog. Is it, is he in the chat or is he? The chat. Oh, he's in the chat. He's in the voice chat. He's not in the lounge. He's in, oh, he's no, not in the lounge. He's... Well, like I said, my 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 voice chat is being grumpy. But ah, first of all, Rob Rob is a great guy. And it looks like he is, uh, I wonder if he's going to be on the Alaboom tonight. There you go. Christian, if you were going to stay up for the Alaboom to make it up for the Alaboom tonight. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm going to let Pete, I'm going to see how I feel. Um, yeah. uh, Kabuki asked that earlier. Yeah, if, uh, if I do go on the Alaboom tonight... You know, I, I think um, Lance forgot to email me last week because I told him, like, oh, if you, you know, if you go on, I'll go on, and, and they forgot to get a hold of me. So maybe I'll go in there, but I, I just don't know if I'll be able to do it tonight. Tonight I just might take off, and then next week try to come on, and. Um, because I always have something to say there. Pete was going. Yeah, Robert won't be on tonight because his voice is currently shot. Oh really? What happened? Is there anything you want to tell us? Were you screaming? Uh, do we have a tough day or something? You have to be very careful going over this stuff here, because you can easily get this onto the night going with ease and you don't want to do that all right let's do that let's do this here and we're almost done with these guys and i'm going to show you a couple of things and we're going to even base it too so so it looks proper and ready to go all right so that's it with the our akrath earthshade but we are going to add in Oh boy, somebody went in a wind tunnel. We're going to take some Skaven, Skaven Blight Dinge. Okay, that's definitely not me. Oh, he caught Con Crud. Papa Bear. He caught... Papa Bear. Go ahead. So, sounds like you are... Uh, got a mic that's hitting something. Oh, Papa Bear's in the chat? In the yes, lounge? It's Oh, no. There you are. We heard you. There you go. It works. There you go. What's up, my friend? Oh, not much. Yeah? So, the floor is yours. What do you got to say? Keep it PG. <laughs> oh, I'm having trouble hearing. Sorry. Oh, you're having trouble hearing me? That's better. Okay. He says the minis are looking great. Uh, needs to master muster the courage to start painting my game. Who? 
Who said that? Godzilla lover. Oh, you can do it. Just pick up a brush. Have some fun. That's what it's all about. It's a learning experience. Now we're taking this 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 dark gray and we're doing all these these uh, there's a lot of and you want to be careful because you don't want to ruin all the work that you did. So I'm just kind of doing some of these tombstones. But we're going to lighten those up later. At a later date. Let's see if there's any more stone stuff here. Oh, there's another tombstone right there. So we want to be careful, especially with his hand right there. So, Papa Bear. I got to say to Godzilla lover, Rob, Rob encouraged me to pick up my first brush. I've never looked back. See? Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Me too. That's he got me started too. It doesn't matter how good you are. I mean, a lot of the, uh, these, these places that, that try to show you how to paint, they want to show off. Listen, it's not about showing off. It's about how you see your world. Just color it. Enjoy it. And it doesn't matter if they, what they do. You just do your own thing. And, and you know, there's a lot of different things that you can learn from a lot of different people. You know, it's not just me. It's the people that, 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 that take the courage to come on here and do this kind of stuff. Because it does take some fortitude to get in front of a camera and expose yourself to the Internet. Because let's face it, the Internet is the biggest harasser there is. And you have to take that criticism. But the, at the end of the day, if somebody picks up a brush and, and paints, what more could you want? then you've done your job. And that's the way I see it. That's enough preaching for today. <laughs> preaching, preaching the pain. All right, there. All right, so we're gonna let that dry for a second. And then we are going to clear this off. And don't forget, you know, you take that lighter color. See how, when that dries, See how, why is that so cloudy? There's no reason that should be so cloudy. I mean, look at that. That's perfect for, for what you want to do for, um, for swords and sorcery, for those ghost figures. So it's just taking that particular color, taking a white, even taking any, even if you took a blue glaze and went over it, you would get a really good effect. So, you know, it really depends on what you want to do. So we're going to take an old junky brush. And I know I have question one here. from the chat. Huh? I have a question from uh, the online chat, from the YouTube chat. Okay, go ahead. Always amazed at how fast you paint. This mm -hmm. is uh, Yves Faust. Would like to know how many hundreds or thousands, certainly, of minis you paint each year. Um, this year is an extraordinary year. Um, we had the patron, so I'm close to up to, I'm going to probably have to say that I'm almost at 4,000, 5,000 min, many so far this year, maybe even more, to be honest with you. Um, each game usually has anywhere 50 to 100 game, uh, things. So times that times, how many games have I painted so far? I've painted 70, I think it was 78 games I've painted. So if you just go on an average of 50 from there. So 50 times 78, Kabuki, what is it? <laughs> we always ask Kabuki, because Kabuki will come up with an answer quicker before anybody else, because she's Kabuki. Come on now. 3,900, thank you, MGK. How much? 3,900? Is that what you said, 3,900? It's correct, 3,900. Okay, so now, Add in the stuff that I did for the channel. That was from MGK. Thank you, MGK. Add in the stuff I did for the channel. And now now you're you're going, oh boy, that's a lot of miniatures. Okay, what I'm taking a Sterland mud and I am just going to push this around these bases. And I'm going to try to see if this mud will look good course what I'm going to do is paint around this base a certain color I just haven't decided what and 
by adding that, I, I'm just testing out um, one of their finished paints to see if this would look pretty good. If I want to go brown or if I want to go gray. I think gray would be too overpowering. And this mud, when it dries, we would dry brush it, but it's going to take a good day or two to dry. Usually I wouldn't even mess with it till tomorrow. Um, hmm. For some reason, I don't like the brown, so I'm probably going to go over it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I may just go the usual gray, um, gray texture. But let's continue on. Let's continue on. And let's just, because that's irritating me, I'm going to take a little dry bark and just paint around that base just so it doesn't look as bad as it does right now and, and throw me off. Um, there we go. And we're just going to take this guy and we're just going to go, okay. Hi, Jim. Wow, if I could paint 5,000 minis a year, I would only have to live into my 300s to finish, unless I buy more. Well, what's the chance of that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I, I just can't explain why I can paint fast, or how, I, I think it's a lot of game planning, and that's what it really comes down to. It's how I just go about game planning each thing. All right, let's just do the final two highlights here, and then we're going to be done. And I'm just going to go over these pretty quickly. Now, what you can do is you can go over some of these swords with a Nyklin Oxide, which will really old things up. And what I mean by that is it weathers things. And it is a technical paint, kind of like the paint that we just used. But take a look at this, this axe here. And you could just take and kind of, oops, got a little bit too much there. And you can kind of see how I'm just kind of just easing it on there. It went on there kind of thick, but it gives that, it's like, oh my God, you know, this stuff is just nasty. And you just take, and you're going to take a little off here. Actually, I'm going to put it on my little plate there. And you're going to work it into those chains so it has that kind of, you know, it's just, it just looks moldy and everything else that you don't want it to look. And now, all of a sudden, that's what you got. You see what you're getting there? It didn't take us long to get that. I mean, take a look at that guy. All right, and that oxide really brings out an old, old look. Now, there's a couple other things that we want to do, and I'll do another, another thing here. Oh, let's hold off on that one, and we can go over the brass here because I think that is a perfect candidate for this kind of paint. And once we got that paint on there, just spread it around a little bit, especially over brass. Did you ever see brass when it? when it kind of it gets cruddy from time and all that other stuff just that and you got to be very sparingly with this and just kind of go over the blade go over the keys just touch that touch the helmet a little bit even and it just it oxidizes the metal and that's what we're looking for Come over the back here a little bit. Perfect. So now you got to feel how that looks. So we're going to put that aside. And then we're going to finish off really big here. And I'm going to show you one last thing that you guys are going to want to do here. And that's you're going to take a glaze. This is a Lamnier's Yellow. And you're going to give that a good shake. And because there is this mystical glow coming from these guys, you're going to want to use that, that glaze. And you're going to want to work that glaze into 
some of these flames. There we go. And I'm going to show you how that is going to look very shortly. But don't be afraid to take and catch some of the ends here. But Bear had a question. Go ahead. He says he's doing, uh, he gets his Song of Ice and Fire tomorrow and wanted to know if about opening it up with the uh, Discord community. Discord? Yeah, why can't he? That's... That that's what the lounge is for, Papa Bear, is for us to hang out and talk to each other. So, yeah. so adding, as you can see, adding that feel in there. Now all of a sudden, that has a mystical kind of glow to it. First, we have the magical flames coming out, and then what we're going to do is like particularly like with this guy. All right, let's take this guy into consideration, and we're just going to add. A little bit of that 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 yellow glaze right in there and then we can add a little at, at the tips here just a little bit just to get we just don't we just we don't want it to overpower anything we just want to hit a little bit so you kind of get a feel like oh man there's something going on with this dude what's up with him see what I'm getting there see how that all kind of comes together how that all pops together all that work that we did it wasn't hard we did it in an hour and a half yeah hour and a half hour and a half and we did a whole bunch of guys just like that just like that this guy with the we'll, we'll try to finish him off a little bit because i've been i'm still not a hundred percent not sold on on the uh brown base and but i wonder if by adding the yellow if that helps add anything to this base all right there we go and sometimes we can just come around here see see how he has those things that just kind of and you want to kind of just change it up and you're just hitting little edges here so you see how that all kind of starts to come together you see what we're trying to create here see what we're making we're making models, that we're, that's what we're making. That's what we do. So there you have it. That's how you do these night gaunts. Now, next week we are going to just concentrate on one model for one day, and then we're going to go right into the Sigmarites. So we got this guy right where we want him as far as the glaze goes, and then I'm gonna show you how to put, how to paint this guy in under an hour and really get a decent result by then i'll have the base figured out as far as what we want to do as far as colors and uh, i'll also uh, on that same night show you how to do some of these bigger guys so we'll get those done and i'll have everybody else finished i'll show you the final product with the bases i'll show you how we lighten up the bases and 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 bring some life to them and uh does that yellow glaze work on most base colors or is it used mostly for green color you can use it with whites it, it really depends this glaze um, it's I use it for fire a lot and you'll be seeing some examples coming up very very soon so there you go so we showed you how to do these guys we showed you how to to even take your ghost soul heroes from swords and sorcery and use that same kind of color to kind of bring these guys to life um, and we'll fit I'll show you how these are based uh, on Monday as well uh, when we do our next painting class tomorrow very simple we are going to be doing our um, charity auction so I will be listing the 20 boxes that we have and everything that's in them so guys uh, pay attention to that it all proceeds go to a good uh, charity hit smash that like button uh, give us a little love and uh, join the discord uh, for all you question Rob before you go oh go ahead I was in the middle Does of my that rant yellow work on most base colors or just on like green it could work on any base color but you know it depends you got to remember what happens when you get a yellow and a green together what do you, uh, you you know know your color chart Will it go over a dark blue? Well, probably not. It's not going to look right. But if will it go on a white? Yeah, sure. It'll go on a white. 
Will it go over at the ends of a, of, a, of a red? Yes. And it'll give you a little something. You got to think on your color spectrum and how to use that proper that glaze properly. Oof. Boy, I think I've said it all, haven't I? I think I've done it all. We've gotten a lot of stuff done today. This was a lot of fun. Um, we'll be back painting uh, on Monday. But we are Monday or Tuesday. But we are going to probably maybe play something over the weekend. We have our auction tomorrow, Friday and Saturday. I'm not too sure. We may take off. We've got some things that we got to take care of. Uh, and I think that's about it. So thank you all for being a part of this. This went a little longer than I thought, but we got everything in. Uh, and as always, thanks for coming in. And it's just uh, great to have you guys all here. Until next time, it's your old pal, Rob. Uh, Helen? I think oh. she's still here. Okay. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, both of you guys say good night. Good night. Night, guys. Okay. Until next time, <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. And next time, don't be afraid to come in the lounge and say hi like MGK did. We'll got we'll see you soon. Bye now. Thanks, Rob.